Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your special guest host, Wayne House. Well, good evening. Welcome to the fifth night of our telethon. We appreciate um, each and every one watching. Um, hope this finds everybody well. I say that all the time, and we do. I know there's um, a lot of people not well, and we, we're going to pray for them here before we get into the singing. But, um, you know, we, we've got a mighty God that we serve, able to do all things. And you know, for the telethon, we trust in Him for people being sick and whatever the need is. We trust in the Lord, and that's Amen. what this uh, station's all about. Um, that's why we're trying to help in it and support it and do everything in their power. We we don't able to, we ain't, we're not able to do much, and each and every one of us pitch in and uh, collectively we do it. You know, but yet if it weren't for the Lord, there'd be nothing good happen. So, okay. so we're um, just trusting in Him tonight. So. But if you can help us, we, we pr would sh certainly appreciate it. And there's enough of us that if everybody would just do their part and give what they're able to do and give, it'd be enough. It always is. And so we, we want you to do that. Um, Sister Margaret, there uh, have been several people inquiring about why she's not been able to be here. And I think they're afraid she's sick. And Margaret's not sick, uh, but Don uh, is in the hospital. And so she's kind of taking him and take care of him. So that's the reason she's not been able to be here, and she wanted everybody to know that. And d uh, because of that, we want you to pray for Don. Uh, he needs prayer, and so we, he needs a touch from the Lord. So we want you to pray for him, lift him up to the Lord. And Sister Margaret also, they both need prayer. And remember Dottie, um, she's not well either, not able to be here, been sick. And so remember Dottie. So it's hard, man, when you've got um, mm -hmm. Margaret and Don and Dottie not here. And then you look around, who is here tonight? Us three. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big drop-off. Yeah. I mean, it's a big drop-off. We're, we're struggling. So we're struggling to <laughs> Thanks, get the job done. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> Edith, 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 it's the truth. So, But, you know, we, we yeah, really mean that from the bottom of our heart that we want you to pray for the, uh, Margaret and Don and Dottie and and this telethon, and the best thing you can do, you know, to help ease Margaret's um, worries a little bit is just um, ha to have a good night of donation okay. sent in, you know. So uh, we ask you to help tonight. So we're honored to have Brother Steve Wilkerson with us, and 
Um, he's been in revival over in Wayne County, I guess it was yeah. this week. So, yeah. And he rescheduled the night of preaching so he could be here tonight. And not many people would do that. Not many preachers would do that, uh, kind right. of scheduled and, and uh, to where he could be here to help in this tonight. So we appreciate him. And so, Brother Steve, what's, what's on your heart, brother? I'd just like to say it's good, good to be here tonight. and uh, it's, it's really an opportunity. You know, I, I was thinking today there's been a lot of gospel that's been preached off this hill. And it goes to a lot of different homes. And not everybody can get out and go to church. And uh, there's a lot of elderly people, a lot of shut-ins. That uh, really, they uh, this is the only way they can be communicated to through the gospel is, is maybe this station, and it's very important to them. Oh, yeah. And we meet them every day or so that that talks about this station, and people that's passed on and their kid will even say that that's where their television stayed at yeah. because they cared about yeah. uh, this station, and and we need to keep it going, and. Um, you know, this one message off this hill uh, that, that's preached or talk about Jesus, it's all about Jesus. That's, that's just the, our point is, is getting the gospel out. That's what it's all about. But just one, one time, you can reach more households than you could probably one time uh, going around and preaching in different churches. Uh, just one, one message. But anyway, it's very important that we keep this going, pray one for another, and... Uh, we, there's so many out there that's sick right now. A lot of people struggling. Uh, times is hard. Yes, and we need to pray for, you know, a lot of people on fixed incomes. We yeah. understand that. But, uh, you know, if God lays it on your heart to send in, God will bless that. He will. He, he took two fishes and five loaves of bread and fed 5,000 plus Man. more and, and satisfied what their need was and had Absolutely. leftovers. And we just need to do, pray and ask God to lead us and guide us. But uh, we, we appreciate uh, this station and all that it stands for. And appreciate the help that we have. We're struggling for help. <laughs> Amen. But uh, mm -hmm. we, we appreciate all that's taken part. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's good to be here tonight. So yeah. just pray about it and give what God lays on your heart. It'll be right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're going to pray. And then um, we'll pray how prayer, man, Stephen Edith, then turn over. Edith can introduce the group. But we ask you to remember this uh, service tonight. You know, um, you never know when will be the last time you're able to do something for the Lord. Amen. Uh, me and brother in our church rode over here with me tonight, and I told him, I said, we was talking about how fast time goes by, and I said, you're, you're young, and you just kind of get busy in life, and you turn around, and you're old. That's right. And uh, all that's going to matter when we uh, leave here is what did we do for the Lord. Amen. So we pray tonight that you will obey the Lord. Just mind the Lord. That's all we ask you to do. And, and remember the sick and um, brother singing, getting ready to come up here and sing. He uh, his, told me his dad, Brother J.C. Morgan, is not doing good right now. So remember Brother J.C. I know him well. and uh, He's been over here a bunch of times with his church singing. So remember Brother J.C. and. And so we're going to pray. Brother Steve, let's pray. Amen. If you would lead us in prayer, if you would, yeah. we'll dear, pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this privilege, Lord, to come up to this place that we could share the good news of the gospel, tell people about how good you are to us and what yes, you can Lord do for Jesus. them. Yes, Lord. And Father, we ask you, Lord, we know there's many needs out there today. And Lord, we ask that you just intervene, Lord, in the ones that's hurting today, the ones that's most of all the ones that's lost that they'll see their need before it's too late. Lord, bless this hour of service. Bless these singers as they come to sing the songs of Zion, that you'd bless them with liberty. Yes. And Lord, most of all, for those out there that don't know you in a free pardon of sin, that you'd deal with their heart. Lord, just go with us now. Bless this service. Have your way. And we'll give you all the praise, honor, and the glory. Lord, help Don tonight, others that's sick in the body. Help them all, Lord, just to recover, and we we'll give you the praise. In Jesus' name we pray, and amen. 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 Yeah, uh, Go ahead, Ada. Thankful to be here tonight, and we're tired in body, but we're going to keep on. And I was, so they was talking about helping. You know, everybody's just stepped in and filled those voids, and we still miss Dottie and Don and Margaret, amen. but we're just doing what we have to do to get that word and get this money brought in because it's very important we keep WLJC on there. So many people it says it's their church, and I believe that. And, uh, but you can call those numbers at the bottom, any of those numbers, and you can uh, 
you can come up here and bring your thing. You can mail it to us, whatever. Yeah. And they always, periodically, they'll have the address rolling across the bottom, too. So remember that. And, uh, and remember the Rhodes family. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're burying their daddy tomorrow, so remember that family. And oh, uh, yeah. uh, they've been a big part of this ministry, yes, and, and yeah. Steve, they're a big part of it. And, uh, yes. you know, we're thankful that God's still God, and He's still in control. I mean, the world may make you think He's not, but He is. And uh, yeah. I'm so thankful to be a part of this and the people we're reaching every night. But we're going to, we got a wonderful group over here and can't wait to hear them. They're, they're amnesty. And they're out of Essie, Kentucky. So I never heard of Essie, Kentucky, if they was telling me. And it's Jerry Maggard is the contact name. It's 606-374-5880. So we're going to go to Amnesty. God bless you. JC, we love Jesus Christ, and it's good to be back in Beattyville with all the folks and friends, and I and, uh, want to give a shout out to all the folks back home that's on Stanton and Leicester County. We say hello to all of them and hope that this is going out to them, and they're blessed tonight, and all of our friends, our family, and all of our loved ones. 
You know, they're talking about giving. As years ago, that uh, learned a song by a certain person, and uh, and it talked about a dream about going to heaven. And uh, in that dream, he met a man as he made it to heaven, and he came to him and told him, he said, "You may not, you know, know me now, but." He said, there was once when a missionary, he came to your church and said, his pictures, they made you cry. He said, you didn't have much money, but you gave it anyway. And Jesus, he took that little bit, and that's why I'm in heaven today. So you never know. Of all this work and all the labor and all the things that's going on here at WLJC, just one soul, one soul is worth it all. Praise God. I can be so stubborn, but caught up in my pride. I'm the only one strong enough to ever win the fight. I can do it on my own. I never need a hand to hold. I can be so selfish, holding on to what is mine. I can find a way to place the blame when my world ain't spinning right. I can make excuses, but I know the truth is when life gets heavy, my will can let me down. When all my worries drag me to the ground, it's good to know. It's good to know you took it. Good to know you took it all. But I still get anxious. I have my days of doubt. But if I take a second to catch my breath and have a look around. I can see it clearer. There's a bigger picture. When life gets heavy, my will can let me down. When all my worries drag me to the ground, it's good to know. It's good to know you took it.
took it all Not sure I want to open my eyes Every time I do they start to cry A little more each day Just outside your hospital room The birds are singing and the sky is blue And here life's not okay Wish it was me How do you make it through the day Then I see you Fold your hands and pray Thank you, Jesus For every breath I take Thank you, Jesus Even when my heart aches Cause I was made to bring you all my praise Even in my darkest days Nothing changes how deeply I am loved Thank you, Jesus It's okay to be scared, they say Cause you gotta be scared before you're brave But it's hard Try to be as strong as I can I trade the world just to hold your hand And heal the pain you're in When you smile at me I feel a peace words can't explain Tonight there's just one thing to say Thank you for every breath I take Thank you, Jesus Even when my heart aches Cause I was made to bring you all my praise Even in my darkest days Nothing changes how deeply I am loved Thank you, Jesus
showing me No matter what there is a way Tonight there's just one thing to say Thank you Jesus for every breath I take Thank you Jesus even when my heart aches Cause I was made to bring you all my praise Even in my darkest days Nothing changes how deeply I am loved Thank you Jesus Nothing is ever going to change your love for me. Thank you, Jesus. Can you 
Mercy finds me when mercy found me. Good job. Uh, let's say where you are, Amnesty. We'll be right back to you here in a few minutes. We're going to read some pledges, and we got we have a new total, 37,442. So we thank God for those. Keep those phone operators busy. If you don't, they get in trouble up there. So make sure you ring those phones. 
Martha Blair from Harlan, $200 in memory of Jim Blair. Bonnie Brown from Johnson, $25. Linda Bailey from Morgan, $25. Alberta Charles from Clark, $100 in memory of his wife, Audrey. Uh, Philip from Laurel, $20. Edna Taylor from Plasky, $50 in memory of Edward Taylor, who passed away last year. Charles Walden from Madison, $100 for his mom, kids, and the Walden family. Donald and Rena Anglin from Rockcastle, $100 in memory of loved ones that have passed away. And uh, we have a call from Bige and Martha Messer, and they pledge $100. So Bige and Martha Messer. So we thank God for each pledge we're getting. Y'all keep, uh, keep going because... Uh, we can't reach this goal until uh, we're trying to reach uh, 150,000. And remember, you can call in now at 606-464-4250 or 859-469-7482. Okay, call those in, and uh, the phone operators we've got several up there that uh, take care of you. You can put it on. Uh, you can put it on your Mastercard, Visa, any of the credit cards you can, and so. Uh, and then you can also uh, do. Uh, I think it was PayPal and Venmo, I think, was the two that you could do it to. So make sure you do that. So, And then if you don't care, it sure helps us out at the very end. If you just go ahead and send those pledges in, that way we can take care of them still having them all coming in at the very end of the thing next week. So we, this is our fifth night, so we have... We have seven more to go, so y'all stay with us. And we still have another group after Amnesty, so we're going to go back to Amnesty, and they are from Essie, Kentucky, so we'll go back to Amnesty. All right. This next song here is called Wednesday Night Prayer Meeting, and uh, I, I know there's plenty of people out there that's been to church on Wednesday nights through the prayer meetings, and uh, if you're out there and... Uh, and it brings back a memory. Send them in a pledge here at the WLJC. Uh, they, it's really a good cause. You couldn't spend your money in no better place.
yeah, that's the way it was at Wednesday night prayer meeting. Yeah, that's the way it was at Wednesday night prayer Next is called All My Hope Is In Jesus. You know, uh, this telethon is, is about Jesus. You know, uh, you can't, like Jerry was saying, you can't spend your money in no better place than here because they're doing a great work and putting out a great ministry. And uh, so if you've got any kind of money at all to spare, they could sure use it. But I know there's plenty of people out there that's got plenty. But uh, this song is uh, called All My Hope. It's one I heard Sister Margaret say that this was one of her favorite songs.
Appreciate the Lord tonight. Appreciate everybody that's out there that's given to this telethon tonight in the fall. Amen. This fall telethon. And I know they'll appreciate it here, Sister Margaret, and all of them that works here in the studio. We we'll appreciate every dollar that you spend. And like I say, it could be that uh, one dollar that might be that push it over the top for that one lost soul. This, this t TV station needs to go out. Praise God.
hopeless You didn't think you could do it Oh, but you got through it Kept faith when you didn't have a prayer Had hope when it wasn't any there Up against the impossible You just wouldn't back down You kept fighting That heavy cross you carried Ain't weighing you down any longer Life is tough My love is strong against the impossible you just wouldn't back down you can't find that heavy cross you carry ain't weighing you down any longer life is tough life's so Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad it is. I'm glad God's love stronger than anything else, and it is. And um, appreciate you boys coming and singing. Good job. Amnesty from over in Essie, over in Leslie County. Uh, you can call Brother Jerry Maggard up at the Upper Gracie Branch Pentecostal Church. And they've been over here several times, and we appreciate them. We do. And appreciate anybody and everybody that plays a part in this. And, uh, you know, it's all about working together. And, um, you know, Ain't no big eyes, little you. The only big eye is the Lord. Amen. And uh, we're all way under Him. We just yeah. uh, kind of delegated to do our part in this whole world. And uh, if there's ever been a time that we need to be busy, it'd be the day. Uh, I've never seen such an ungodly time. And a, to me, a scary time, Brother That's Steve. Yeah. I, you know, people say, well, what are you scared of? And you got the Lord. Well, I'm scared for you if, you don't, if you're not saved. I'm scared for people. Amen. I'm scared for the condition the world's in. Uh, yeah, I'm saved, and, and I thank God every day for that. But there's so many that's not. And they're the ones, this group, they come and sing. That's the reason they come and sing. And reason Sister Margaret's here every night and um, the station's on the air is because of you. Amen. And it is. Yeah, I, I, I guess if everybody was saved, it'd still be good to have a, yeah. you know, singing and, all, and everything. But we're trying to reach the lost, and, uh, and you know, more than anything else. And so uh, we appreciate you watching. We do, and keep calling in. Phone's been very slow tonight, and we uh, um, want everybody to pick it up and help us if you can. Well, it's, it's a, 
uh, necessary things. So yeah. um, we just appreciate things. And we're going to the promotional video here. And uh, we um, it just takes two or three minutes of your time. So watch it. And it tells you what uh, this telethon is all about, the reason we're raising money and what it goes for. And, and um, I'm sure, and I, I know very little, you know, about things. Uh, I'm not very good at electronic things. You, you may find that hard to believe, Steve. Yeah. But, uh, a burner can use a telephone, but but there's a lot of equipment that goes with this uh, station. Sure and it, it, it takes a lot of money to keep it operating, and and it takes some um, people like you that's watching, you know, to support it and help us, help us. And we, I know Sister Margaret uh, worried right now about uh, you know Don and stuff. So help ease her mind somewhat and give and give in tonight. So Amen. we go to the promotional video. Just watch two or three minutes, and we'll be right back. With your generous contributions, you help the Hour of Harvest spread the gospel across the world. In the last year, we have heard from many different countries like Australia, Brazil, Canada, Germany, Mexico, Nigeria, and Spain. In our 41 years of being on the air, we have heard from 51 different countries around the world through the internet. This is all made possible by your generous contributions. Mark 16:15 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 9, 37 to 38 says, Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. Remember, your contributions to the Hour of Harvest are income tax deductible. We are so glad that you are a part of this ministry, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. May God bless you. Hey Amen. We'll welcome you back, and uh, we're glad you're still listening this, this evening, and we hope that you're praying for the service. And we got a, a new group coming up here in just a, a minute or two. But, you know, I was thinking about, as Brother Wayne was talking before the video, uh, this is all about people caring one for another is what it's about. Nobody gets paid over here to do anything. And it's just because we want to try to reach somebody and show you that we, we really do care. Yes. Um, you know, eternity is a long time. And if you're not prepared to leave this world, it's going to be a, a long time in a bad place. And that's why we're here to try to tell you about Jesus and let you know He's your only hope. And He's a friend that loves you. And uh, He proved that not by just what He, did, he said, but what He did. Yes, uh, he, left, uh, yes, he left His heavenly home, uh, left the Father's side, yes, left all the peace and contentment up there that was in that place. And He left that to come down to this world. And He did that for one reason. Uh, he never came to heal the blind or cause the uh, deaf to hear and uh, lame to walk. He did all them things, but he came for one reason. And, and I, I believe that Apostle Paul said it's a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation uh, that Christ came to save sinners. And that's why he came. And that's why he went through what he did. The reason he did those things before that he died is that you might believe he is the Son of God. And, and I'm so glad that he died for us and, and he died for you and he loves you. You say, I've, I've did too much. I went too far. Listen, the blood of Christ has got enough power to cleanse you from all unrighteousness and, and make you free from sin. And when God sees you, he, he won't see you as you are. He'll see his son. That's been the blood that's been applied to your heart. And you can have a brand new life starting today. If you'll just give him your life and your heart, just trust him. It's not about working, it's about trusting. And just trust that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, died for you, that he rose for you. That's the gospel in a nutshell is what that is. 
that Jesus came and a virgin born, died, lived a perfect, sinless life, died a, a wicked death on Calvary, but he rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And he did that because he loves you today. And we got a group that's uh, come from Sandy Hook, Kentucky. They've come a long ways, and we appreciate them coming this way. And uh, this, the name of the group is For For Him. So we, we appreciate them coming. And the contact name, if I get the name right, Josh Slois. Is that pretty close? All right. And the number that you would call if you want to get in contact with them is 606-495-5260. So just enjoy uh, tonight and let's just have a good time in the Lord. And these, these phone operators, listen, you, you may not have no money to give. That's all right. Just call if you want to talk to somebody. Maybe you want to be saved. These people up there, they can tell you how. Just trust the Lord today. So uh, the numbers is down at the bottom of the screen. If you want to call, call those numbers. So uh, for, for Him.
outcast and the beggar to sing. If I had the power to turn back the clock and make amends for the things I forgot, a lifetime of be out here with you all again um, uh, thankful for uh, the good work done here at WLJC in, in the hour of harvest and uh, no doubt there's a lot of homes um, I've seen firsthand that uh, have uh, welcomed uh, Sister Margaret and welcomed WLJC this program in that uh, may not otherwise go to church may not otherwise uh, ha have a home church but Nonetheless, they get a little dose of Jesus. <laughs> they get to hear the good news about him. And, and I'm thankful for the testimony and for the good work that's being done here. And, and we come not having a whole lot to offer. Uh, our, our talent may be small, but I'm serving a God that uh, can do a lot with a little. <laughs> and I'm thankful. Uh, boy, if you're out there this evening and you're thinking, well, I ain't got but $5 to spare. I ain't got but whatever. Listen, I, I, I ain't after your wallet, and these folks ain't either, but it takes money to pay the bill. Bills and, and whatever little bit you've got, if you're willing to give it over and uh, uh, for the glory of God, Jesus took just a little bit of bread and fish one time and blessed it, and he fed a whole bunch, and they had enough to gather up the scraps. So uh, I'm thankful we're serving a God that's able, uh, thankful for his spirit, and uh, hope we do something this evening that uh, the Lord would bless you with. Thankful for good spirit here.
try this. On the day that Jesus was to die.
see your tears Learn to smile through all your fears And hold your head up high and Give the world a smile And just be faithful all the way count we're from Elliott County but we, we can count there's only three of us here tonight uh, but and we miss our brother George um, he's uh, uh, kind of uh, our main singer in the crew and uh, uh, we miss him when he's unable to be with us and appreciate your prayers for him but we'd like to do this one this is one that he usually sings but I can't hold a candle to George but we love you anyway and thinking about you so
We're thankful to be here tonight and uh, thankful for the opportunity to come back out on WLJC. And, uh, like the others have said, it certainly takes money to make these things happen, and, and we all know that. It takes money to run your household, it takes money to run our local churches, it takes money to run a TV program. Um, those of you that can support, we pray that you'll do that. And uh, we just ask that uh, take a little time and think about Jesus this evening. Think about the work that's being done and those that maybe this program can reach that can't be reached any other way. And uh, it's an opportunity for you at home to have a part of that ministry if you give tonight and support that. So we just pray that uh, if you can, that you'll do that.
I'm going to challenge everybody that's watching, uh, I guess I can say challenge, yeah. everybody that's watching through Mountain Telephone TV tonight, get on your phones and call these people and donate. We can donate to ball games and tennis shoes and what have you, but doing the Lord's work, we, ne we need to press on and help Amen. these folks and pray for us. That's four for him, but tonight it's three for him. So I like that, yeah. 75%. So, that's right, 75%. That's pretty good nowadays. Yeah. Amen. So we'll get right back to him here in a few minutes. Got a few pledges. Harlan and Murray Schupman from Casey, $100 in memory of Benny Scott. Jackie Vance from Breffitt, $50 in memory of husband Martin. Linda Holt from Jessamine, $125 a month in memory of Ernest Holt, who passed away last year. Clifford from Pulaski, $100. Edward Porter from Carter, $50 monthly. Jack and Brenda Savage, $200, in memory of daughter Teresa Savage. Murray Tackett from McGothan, $50, in prayer for the foam operators. Billy Sapp from Fleming, $200, in honor of his dad and all the veterans. Flora uh, Russell from Madison, $300. Dave and, and Sue Sumlet from Pulaski, $50. And that honor of $200 in honor of his dad and all the veterans, today is Veterans Day. 
And uh, we appreciate all the veterans. And if you want to donate money in their honor, do that. Um, you know, this is a giving every month, $50, $100 every month. If you can do that, that's a wonderful pledge. That way they know every month that's coming in. And, and uh, it's like Brother Steve said a while ago, you know, we're just here to help. Um, I pastor a church over in Clay County. Brother Steve pastors over in Laurel County. Um, we're just here to help. Um, I believe the Bible teaches us, and I know it don't come out per word and say this, per sentence, but I believe uh, the Bible teaches we're in this thing together. Amen. He said there's one Lord, one faith, and one that's baptism, right. and one God over all, in all, through all. And, and I mean, that's just all there is. That's and, uh, we're in this together. And he went away to prepare a place. He, he didn't say, I go away to prepare places. He said, I go to prepare a place. Amen. So there's one place, and that place is called heaven. And uh, you're either in there, in that group, or you're not. And so we pray. Steve said, we're over here to help you get into that group. Amen. And if you're in that group, we, want, we support that group then and help each other in the cause for Christ. So do that. These brothers that come over here to sing tonight, they... They, they, they didn't come for worldly acclaim. You sing for the Lord, you ain't going to get no worldly acclaim. That's the truth. But they come for their, because they love the Lord. Amen. And they Amen. want to do something for the Lord. So that's why we're here. So call in, help us out. Uh, we need your help. We need your help. Amen. We need you to help us. And uh, so do that tonight. And Sister Margaret would so appreciate it. You know, she's not able to be here, and it would tickle her today. Her, bless her heart. Amen. Just know that you picked up the slack, and, and you're carrying on. So so do that tonight, and uh, God will bless you. Brother Amen. Steve. Amen. We, we got a few pledges. I was thinking, you know, when you when you send in a, a make a donation each month, uh, a, if you're like me, your electric bill comes every month. And, you know, all these bills come every month. And it's a kind of a peace of mind to know that that's going to be here to help pay, and uh, we really appreciate that. We really do, and and I and I know God could, uh, he could he could share money down. Yeah. He could do whatever. I mean, he's God, and he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And he he said all the gold and silver was his, but he wants to use you, and and you 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 know if if uh, if we see one soul saved, uh, we're all in this together. It ain't about us. It's about him, Amen. and it's all about uh, trying to point people the right way. Because there's so many right now that's going the wrong way. Amen. So many today that is being deceived by false doctrine and false teachers and all this. But, yes, you know, sir. in John 14, Jesus made it clear. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, he said, can come to the Father but by me. There's one way to heaven. And there's one sacrifice that was given that was approved by God himself. And that was his son, Jesus. And... What's so good about that? God gave His own self, His own Son, and gave it for us. We, we didn't really have anything to do with it. We just put our faith in Him, and, and He's sure been good to us. Don't have to go to hell. You can go to heaven tonight. And if you're interested in going to heaven, get interested in Jesus. Amen. I mean, a lot of people say, I, I'm, I go to church, I do this and that. You know, that's great. But if you want to miss hell, and go to heaven. You need to go to Jesus. See, it's and uh, we we got so many different beliefs and all this, but you're going to go to heaven one way, and that's through Jesus, that's according to what God's word. If you can believe God's word, you can be saved today. Amen. That's what it's all about. Amen. So we we want to read these few pledges. Call in if you can. If you can't, pray for us. That God will just help us through this. Uh, A. C. and Mabel Jones from Morgan, a hundred dollars, in memory of Jimmy Jones. Patrick McDonald and all that have passed away. Lonnie Whit from Alliance, Ohio, $100 in honor of his wife, Jonda. Stella Bates from Morgan pledges $25. Doris Caldwell from Laurel pledges $100. And Name Withheld from Harlan pledges $50. So we, we appreciate all that's called in and appreciate these men coming all this way. Uh, like Brother Wayne, they're not here to put on a show. You here come to worship. We come to worship the Lord and yeah, just man. have a good time. And we appreciate them. So, Brother we're, Wayne. We're up to $39,022. We've, we've not, um, that's good. And we appreciate that. And uh, we need to get to 40 something the other night. Surely, you know, get over the 40 mark. And yeah. Tomorrow night over the 50 mark. And next week, uh, you know, we, they, you know, the Lord can really bless if people would just 
you know, just um, just whatever God puts on your heart, Amen. do that. But thirty nine thousand twenty two dollars. Got um, three for him, four for him. I don't, I don't want to get to everybody calling you three for him, but four for him. And uh, um, over in Sandy Hook, and what county did you say that it's? Elliott County. Elliott. County. Elliott County. So that's that's quite a ways off. Uh, Josh Slois on uh, Laurel Gorge Enterprise Baptist Church. Amen. Right. Four for four for him. Go ahead.
time here with you all tonight thankful for the good spirit we felt uh, hope we've been able to do something to encourage you along the way and if you're out there and you don't know the lord uh, he's interested in getting to know you <laughs> already knows you knows right where you're at and uh, just call out to him talk to him like he was your best friend because he wants to be uh, and he redeemed us to himself through jesus his son so as we travel through the desert Storms beset us along our way But just beyond the river Jordan Lies a land of endless day Farther on, still go farther Are you weary? 
a long life's way does your strength begin to fail you and your vigor to decay farther on still go farther count the milestones one by one Jesus will forsake you never it is better Sing it as we once did sing it. It is better farther home. Farther on, still go farther. Count the milestones one by one. Jesus will forsake you never. It is better farther home. Four for him minus one. Yeah. Hey Amen. We're glad they're here tonight. And Coming a long way from Sandy Hook, Kentucky. Good job. Again, their their contact name is Josh Slois, and the phone number is 606-495-5260. We appreciate them coming this way tonight. And we got a few pledges we want to read. About, uh, the name with help from sales pledges $25. Tell Sister Margaret we appreciate, appreciate all the work she does. Roxy and Guilford. Housen from Science Hill pledges $50 for Roxy and Guilford Housen who have passed away. Uh, Janice May from my Pike pledges $50 in honor of every in honor of every group here tonight. Never miss she never misses a show. Mar Marnell Yunt from Whitley pledges $40, donating to thank the program and in memory of her sister Connie Davenport and all veterans. Arlena Givens from Powell, $25 in honor of her husband, Jeff Givens. Mary Sue Shootman, $100. Ola Pemberton pledges $25 in honor of brother, brother, sister, and Jesus Christ. Worley Smith from Carter pledges $50 in honor of Wayne House and the singers. And Brother Worley is 92 years old and he needs prayer. Beulah Lockhart pledges $500 in memory of brother who passed on in August. So remember these that's, you know, bereaving their family and their friends that's went on. And we appreciate them for calling in tonight. Appreciate you for watching tonight. Yes, and, and we're going to have a word of prayer here in just a minute. But go ahead, Brother Wayne. Got a few requ um, prayer requests here. Need prayer for um, her, himself tonight. Don't know the name, but prayer for Carol and for his dad that's on auction and stepmom and for his birth mother. Tony Hobson from Powell, prayer for him, his kids and neighbors. Silas Sa Sailor or Salyer, I guess. McGoffin, pray for him and his kids, grandkids. Pray for the church. Margaret from Menifee, pray for her husband. Harrisburg Mike needs prayer for his legs, prayer for his family. Linda Holt for his brother Al Jessman has a hurt knee. Linda Holt for her nephew. Linda Holt, Jessman, lost loved ones, wants them to be remembered. Madison County, Charles Walden, prayer for his mom, said she's watching tonight. Estel Miller, Jackson, prayer for health. Marcella from Laurel County for her son. Bonnie from Johnson County, a lot of pain. Terry King from Menifee, him and his family. Sick, needs prayer. Perry County, Nadine, said her COPD is acting up. Estel County, or Estel from, uh, yeah, Estel County, Jess, Jessamine calling in. Needs prayer for friend, Christine, Rockcastle County, Beulah, 
son's having surgery. So got a bunch, got a, a lot, and I know there's many more that didn't call in needs prayer. So we're going to pray for these. So you help Good us morning. pray tonight, Good and you've got to need your life. Let's take them to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you. We're thankful, Lord, for that not only this day, but each and every day that you give us, Father. David said, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And we do that today, Father. We give you credit, praise for all things. And Lord, we thank you for this service tonight, for the singers, each one, each group, and each one that's played a part, for each one that's called in and donated. We thank you for them tonight and these prayer requests that they uh, uh, just trusted enough in you, Father, that they called in and said, take me to the Lord. And we do that tonight. Remember Brother Don, Sister Margaret, uh, Sister Dottie, and all the staff here to pray for them. Lord, we um, just give them to you tonight to take Lord care bless. of, touch them and help them. Again, Lord, bless this telethon, bless this station to get what's needed. And God, I know you will. You're always a, a provider, Lord, and you will come through. You've never failed us, and you're not, you're not going to start today. So we thank you ahead of time for the provision of heaven. And we bow our head, humble our heart. And we give you the praise, honor, glory for it all. In the name of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we pray and ask these favors in His name. And amen. Amen. And amen. amen. So we got two minutes ago. We got 39,887. I'm sure we got 40,000. Just not put on the board yet. So tomorrow night we're looking for um, up to over 50,000. And then next week, um, you know, a lot of people like me, I wait till the last, you know, seem like the last month shouldn't do that. Right. And I tell people not to do that, and then I do it myself. Yeah. So shame, uh, on shame on me, right. <laughs> so don't do like me and wait till the last minute to give. So give and uh, just pray, pray. Let's just take everything to the Lord. And, and uh, I'm getting glad to be here tonight. Appreciate Brother Steve. And, and uh, we appreciate you, brother. Love you. And we appreciate this station. So tonight from here in Beattyville, uh, we bid you good night, and may God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311 or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.